What it do, good people? It's A and B coming back for another commentation, and today's topic will be Elon Musk. Now, I have tried to record this video several times, but to no avail, it was not successful due to there being no audio sound, even though I was talking. So let's give it another go. Like I said, today's video will be about Elon Musk, just doing a little deep dive into his business ventures simply because it's raising my eyebrows. Okay, and also that of others as well. So let's start off with a simple introduction. Elon Musk, okay. He co-founded the electronic payment firm PayPal and founded the spacecraft company SpaceX. He became chief executive officer of the electric car maker Tesla. Tesla is also a person. He is also the person that learned how to naturally harvest energy from the earth itself from the ground. Okay, so that people didn't have to pay for energy. He's also not here anymore, obviously. He lived in a different time period. I think like what, the 1900s, mid to late 1800s, okay? Um, but as you can see, Elon Musk now pretty much owns the name and also the information which is said to have come from the Egyptians because they too found a way to naturally harvest the energy of the earth through various means, but also the pyramids, okay? But as you can see, um, Elon Musk owns Tesla. Okay, which was founded in 2003. The automaker has since designed seven electric vehicle models, four of which are currently in production. You may have seen those vehicles on your local streets, which is also very convenient for the time being as though gas prices are so high. That is until the electricity possibly goes out. But anyway, Elon Musk also owns or has co-founded the business Starlink, which provides low orbit satellite internet services designed for rural areas with unreliable internet. The first batch of Starlink satellites were launched in 2019. So he also has his own internet network. He has satellites in the sky. So we have Tesla, right? So far, which is a car. We also have SpaceX, okay? SpaceX, the aerospace company founded by Musk in 2002. According to his company's bio, Musk is the lead designer at SpaceX, where he oversees the spacecraft and rocket development for missions to Earth's orbit and ultimately to other planets. Very, very cool and interesting and eyebrow raising at the same time. Simply because, I mean, to own your own spaceships, right, for your own personal exploration in a way because he has partnered with NASA. To me, there is no way for you to go to space without doing that because they're already in outer space. And when I say they, I'm talking about NASA, Russia, China, and so forth. So they can see um, if there are new things in the sky. Also, it's quite visible. It's quite visible. This is like a real-time photo, supposedly, of what the satellites look like. Um, sometimes when I look into the sky in areas that are not polluted by not, by the light um, on earth. I do see lights that are similar to this. I'm not saying that it is, but hmm, right? Let's get into this article real quick. Chinese military researchers say Starlink could threaten China's national security. Chinese military researchers have called for the development of a hard kill weapon to destroy Elon Musk's Starlink satellite system. Chinese military researchers have called for the development of a hard kill weapon, just read that, to destroy Elon Musk's Starlink satellite system if it threatened China's national security. So these things are everywhere. Okay, I'm not going to read this whole article, but I'm going to start with this bottom paragraph. It says astronomers now worried that the vast number of communication spacecraft planned, including nearly 12,000 of Musk's Starlink fleet, will shine so brightly that they will interfere with the research that depends on delicate visual observations of distant galaxies and nearby asteroids. The new satellites will fly lower than many traditional craft and will arrive in unprecedented numbers. All told, more than double the roughly 5,000 satellites that are circling Earth now. Right, so he has 12,000 satellites. This is, of course, not a real image. This is CGI, but in essence, we are covered in radiation. Okay, so maybe even the lights that we're seeing in the sky are not stars at this point. Wow. How much money do you have to have in order to have this much power to control the earth this much because I don't want to throw the control world word out there um, because at this point it's, it's connected to like abuse and narcissism in, in our world. 
But at the same time, um, with money comes power. And you also have the privilege to do things such as this. Anyway, let's see what else Mr. Musk has invented or co-founded. In 2016, Tesla acquired SolarCity, the U.S. leading provider of satellite panels. I'm sorry, solar panels. Today, Tesla sells four solar energy storage and generation products, Powerwall, Powerpack, Megapack, and Solar Roof. So he also owns a solar panel company, which is also another more natural way of harnessing Earth's energy. Of course, this is an invention. It is man-made. But in essence, it is powered by the sun just in case the lights go out. Now, you might not be able to drive the car, but you'll still be able to have your lights on. Wow. Right. What another great invention. Next, we have The Boring Company, a tunnel construction startup based in Texas that launched in 2016. His tunnels digging venture aims to solve traffic within and between major U.S. cities. One of his future projects is a Hyperloop, which would theoretically allow passengers to travel at 700 miles per hour. So he also owns a tunnel construction company. So they're digging tunnels to God knows where. I, I don't know. I wonder if like in other people's cities, especially Texas, because it's that's where it is. Is there a lot of construction constantly going on? Because to be honest with you, it is in my area all the time. And it's it always involves, the. I mean, you just never know at this point, right? When you got this much money, you got 12,000 satellites in the sky. I mean, what is the limit for you? Because it's definitely not outer space. I mean, he's going at this point. With plans, um, often... Um, he often states in his interviews, which you can look it up on YouTube, just type in like Elon Musk interviews. He is always warning us about the end of humanity. OK, that's number one, always. And he's always talking about his mission to go to Mars. My question is, what do you know? What's going on? Why are you trying to like, hey, what's up? You feel me? All right. Let's go this way. Next, you've probably never heard of it, but Musk is also the co-founder of a San Francisco startup called Neuralink. The company's mission sounds straight out of a sci-fi movie to connect the human brain to computers. Now, this one knocks the ball out of the park, hands down. It's a home run because at this point, um, these are brain chips. This is something straight out of the Matrix, right? So the Matrix ain't even just a movie. It just goes to show you, and it really gives you that three, almost 4D feeling, that fourth dimensional feeling when you start to see through things and realize, you know, even the things that they tell us that are fake are real in essence because we create everything just like these computers, right? We think that these computers are providing us with resources at the moment, at the time, instantaneously, yes, it is. But in essence, a person created a computer, right? The first computer did not have Google. You know, you couldn't just go online and type in any and everything. There is an algorithm in a database that is built off of the minds of us. We are the algorithm. Without us, there is none of this. So a lot of people talk about disconnecting from the matrix because simply doing that takes away the power from them, you know, quote unquote, them, the people who have power to control, right? <clears throat> the billionaire helped found Neuralink to help those with brain injuries in the near term and reduce artificial intelligence risk to humanity in the long term. According to his website, last summer Neuralink raised 205 million in Series C funding. Okay, so... His reasoning for creating it is to help people, right? And also to mitigate the risk to humanity. I'm just trying to figure out how does creating a brain chip stop that? So how does that mitigate that? And also it is suggestive to artificial intelligence risk to us, right? Maybe not the whole like I robot thing, you know, where they just coming straight out and attacking us, but more so the control that it inflicts. I mean, we don't think that we're being controlled, but we are attached to technology almost in every single way. But to have a brain chip, something in your mind that is controlling your consciousness, it's not controlling it, but copying it. And especially to be able to repair it almost implies that the machine knows more than the brain does. 
when the brain hasn't even been figured out yet. Scientists have, have never figured out the, the brain 100%. That's how amazing it is. We figured out a computer. We figured out how to make cars. We figured out a lot. But the brain is something else. All right. Speaking of iRobot, this is what got me. All right. The Tesla bot. Tesla bot, also known as Optimus, is a conceptual general purpose robotic humanoid under development by Tesla. It was announced at the company's Artificial Intelligence Day event on August 19, 2021. CEO Elon Musk claimed during the event that Tesla would likely build a prototype by 2022. And guess what year it is, dog? It's 2022. What will the Tesla bot do? Tesla bot could develop a unique personality and become a companion. Elon Musk says that he is considering Tesla bot becoming more than just a humanoid robot to perform useful tasks, but to have it potentially develop a unique personality and be a companion. Be a companion. It's like, okay, let me read that again. So we're going to do this. So we can put him to work. Bam. But then also be a companion man i mean this is like every show every series on netflix it's like black mirror so he pretty much has the starter pack for an apocalypse just in case something goes down no matter what it is he's good like he can go to outer space he can go underground he'll still have electricity he'll still be able to get around potentially if there is electricity you feel me he probably got a different he has a space car i remember that it looked quite fake but check these videos out man look at this this is a tesla robot this is super secret prototype to try out it's a little thing that she's so nervous so don't mind the scratches and stuff but yeah comment down below let me know what you <laughs> this is actually uh, scary kind of what you want me to um test with this thing would you want a I robot get to no i would not want a robot call me old-fashioned but that looks like a person in a bodysuit the way that it moves prototype i don't know what's going on here but if i saw a hundred of those walking around man that'd be crazy at the very same time we say that about like touchscreen phones i remember when that was like crazy to think that that would actually be a thing right a lot of people are still waiting on flying cars but i mean when we stay focused on what's actually here you start to realize like wow this is really the jetsons y'all what is this and to develop a personality you know that means a true integration of artificial intelligence so if your mission is to help mitigate that risk, then why are you creating things that add to it? Let's check this video out though. Did you know that Tesla were building this? That's not a car? It's most definitely not. It's a five foot eight, 125 pound humanoid robot. Uh, why? They've said it's to replace humans from doing repetitive, boring and dangerous tasks. Still doesn't make sense why it looks like a robot out of that Will Smith movie. Well, there is another theory that Elon Musk is gonna send them to Mars on his space program. Ooh, this could be interesting. Well, remember to follow me so you can find out what he actually does with them. Yeah. You can follow him. That's, that's his thing. That's his tag. But... Bruh. Yeah, so I'm just curious. I'm, I'm just curious. You'd be crazy not to question where he going with all of these inventions. And we all know that this stuff is for the one percenters. All of us, if the world was like coming to an end, God forbid, of course. Of course, the world is not coming to an end. Anyway, hypothetically, he'd be able to get to space. He's trying to go to Mars now. He could start his own little civilization with electricity and everything. Or he could just leave us all behind, right? Matter of fact, man, I just want Elon Musk. What's going on? Just want to know what's going on, man. Seem like he's prepping for something. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I thought I'd just make another video doing a little quick deep dive into some real information with some crazy twists, but it's actually, it's true. It's, it's very 2022. Anyway, until we meet, talk again, my friends, stay safe and stay vigilant. Peace out.